Hey everybody, what's up? I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to talk about something that God has over the past few years invited me to share in that this year I'd like to share with you. Over the past 12 months, many of us have had to deal with a lot of changes. And those changes for many of us have been life-changing and very unsettling. Our schedules and our times have been had to be altered and even our corporate worship have not been to our liking. But through it all, we can all attest that God has been faithful to us, even when at times we have not been faithful to Him. Tomorrow is called for a lot of Christians around the world, Ash Wednesday, which kicks off a season that is commonly referred to as Lent. Lent is a season of 40 days, not counting Sundays, which begins on Ash Wednesday and ends on Holy Saturday, the day before Resurrection Sunday. Traditionally, Lent is a time to reflect, to repent, and to prepare our hearts for the celebration of Easter and Christ's resurrection from the dead. So, before I go forward, some of you might be asking, well, where is Lent in the Bible? And actually, Lent is not in the Bible, but I believe that the spirit of this period is founded upon biblical principles. You see, in the early church, this season was referred to as the 40. And many of you Bible scholars do know that the number 40 as it relates to prayer and fasting is very significant. You remember Moses in Exodus chapter number 34 spent 40 days on Mount Sinai. This is the same number, 40, was the same number of days that Jesus spent in the wilderness in Matthew chapter number four. Well, in both cases, Moses and Jesus fasted and prayed. And therefore, we believe that fasting and praying are two important essential elements as we put our focus toward Lent. This is why many people will do prayer journals or some kind of challenge for themselves during the season. And this is where we get the idea of giving up something for Lent. Because fasting, food, is not just all that you can do. You see, some people will fast a certain type of food, some fast from television or social media or some kind of other thing that can distract you and pull you away from your worship. So why do we fast? Why do we give up something for this season, specifically for Lent? Well, it's not because God wants to cause us to be sad or depressed or even mad. And it's not that we can show everybody around us how spiritual we are. We fast or give up something to make room to pursue a better relationship with God. In other words, let me form it this way. We fast as we remove something to make room for the one thing, the one thing that's most important to us. It means moving something away, if just not temporarily, to refocus our attention on the center of our worship, which should be the Lord Jesus Christ. And just like when Moses fasted for 40 days in preparation of him bringing the law to the children of, of God, or as Jesus fasted 40 days in the wilderness preparing for his earthly ministry, we can use this period, this next 40 days, to prepare our hearts to experience the greatness, the purity, and the fullness of Jesus in our lives and the resurrection that he offers all. Lynn is just not about saying no, however. It's about saying no for the season to get ready to walk into a season of renewal, refreshing, and regeneration. So as Lent begins tomorrow, I'd like to invite you to go with me to refocus our hearts toward worship and dedicating our heart to one thing. And also, if, you, if you'd be inspired, to, to challenge yourself to give up something for Lent that Jesus Christ can become your more and more and your everything. Monday through Friday, you can join me on Wake Up With The Word at 5.55 a.m. where we devote toward devotions and prayer. Perhaps you can get with other people and go on the Bible app and go through a study of the scripture for the next 40 days. But whatever you do, whether it's fast, 
or prayer or giving, I challenge you, my brothers and sisters, to pursue God for the next 40 days so that as we celebrate him on Easter Sunday morning, that he, in fact, could shower us with goodness like never before. In Jesus' name, I love you. Bye-bye.